What's up everyone, oh. welcome to Sunday with Ola number 42 Shit, yes For me, it's early early morning For you, it's also probably early early Sunday morning We're gonna have a great time today There's a lot to talk about in the news So we're just gonna head over to... The news <laughs> So it's finally confirmed Dave Mustaine of Megadeth is joining Gibson Guitars The switch from Dean to Gibson is now completely official There are pictures, look at this That's Dave Mustaine looking like a complete badass Right there And there's three different guitars I think There's an acoustic Gibson guitar There's the Kramer Dave Mustaine Flying V Vanguard in natural, okay? Then there's the Gibson Dave Mustaine Flying V uh, 30th anniversary, rust in peace and then uh, the metallic silver Gibson V And as you can see uh, The Gibson one is a little bit, you know, the classic Gibson V shape The Kramer one is more like the original, you know, King V So my guess here is that Gibson will definitely not make a King V shape under the Gibson brand name They will probably just do it under Kramer So I, I think that they probably wanted this shape the most but Gibson wouldn't be able to do it uh, under, you know, the Gibson brand But under Kramer, it's perfectly fine That's why we're seeing both a Kramer and a Gibson uh, model right here So I'm guessing that this Kramer right here is what Dave Mustaine really, really wanted Because it's the most, uh, you know, close to his previous uh, guitars And this, the Gibson V, is basically like a... I don't know, more like a... Maybe like trying to make Gibson cool To be completely honest, I think this shape right here Fits Dave Mustaine a lot more than this Just saying But it's cool, it has the hockey stick and all that uh, Yeah Shit Look at this This one right here, what is that? Like black with white binding? That looks kick-ass Is this line not completely straight by the way? Whatever And, and, and you brought that Man, Dave is such a fucking champion. I mean, beating throat cancer, back at it, out touring again, like very closely after. It's uh, mad respect for a guy. Seriously, this introduction right here is mainly like an interview. They're not talking about the guitars at all. Uh, it's you know this guy talking to Dave, and you know it's cool. It's a cool setting, but they're not really talking that much about the guitar. But I think my guess. When I'm looking at the models here on the Guitar World magazine is that, you know, this, I don't think that's too cool But then the Kramer V looks like, that looks like a Dave Mustaine guitar right there That's probably exactly what Dave Mustaine wanted and these other ones are like, you know, uh, maybe just because they had to Because they're really trying to make the Gibson brand cool again I don't know, that's just my guess right here It might be a very uneducated guess, but I think that's I think that's it Nonetheless, I think it's very cool that Dave Mustaine is joining Gibson I think Gibson are actually doing a pretty stellar job right now uh, Trying to get cooler You know, they acquired uh, Mesa Boogie They pushed the, the Adam Jones tool guitar and all of that And you know, it's, it's... I think they're doing a great job This Levi's guy is onto something So there you go And when we're talking about Megadeth We also need to talk about Metallica Because that's just a really great way to ensure that people go apeshit and mad <laughs> So we're gonna check out this, which was also on the news It's Metallica 1, the song But every instrument is my voice <laughs> Maybe his range is not the best for that solo, but... <laughs> That's fucking amazing. Shit. Has he pitched down his voice for bass? Listen. <laughs> I think this might be my new favorite YouTube video. Okay, let's. Uh, we have to check out the outro. <laughs> the news, everyone. <laughs> I 
I have no idea what this is. It's Volbeat. Oh, it's a, oh, it's Volbeat. Okay. There it is. It's definitely Volbeat. Okay. So today, me and Luis are going to go and pick up the printed tab books for uh, Star Singer. So that's going to be really exciting. They're printed and ready. We're going to go collect. So that's going to be amazing. Very uninteresting adventures uh, with Ola, you might say. I say very exciting because I'm very excited. If, uh, I'm just hoping that it will, you know, reflect on two people, you know. Uh, Bull beat, yes. Okay. <laughs> the name of this road is Midsummer Road, just like the movie and the uh, holiday that Swedes are celebrating. Just a side note, okay? We're waiting for this door to open. Who? <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole lot of uh, Tabux right there. <laughs> well done. Oh. Oh. Damn. Our backs are gonna be sore tomorrow. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me open one of these up. Oh, look at that. Dude, that looks so good. Holy shit, that looks great. So before I've been printing uh, tab books through like Lulu, which is a you know online printing firm, but this is the first time we used a local uh, printer for this. So it's looking really, really good. I'm gonna say way better than the old ones. Holy shit, man! Hey, oh, that's Louise. <laughs> she wants to get in. The tab books are basically the first thing uh, with the artwork that's been printed and that is done. Now we're just waiting for vinyls and CDs, and then we're, I think we're ready then to start chip stuff. But uh, the vinyls will probably take like two more months or something like that. So it's, it's insane how long it takes to print vinyls right now. But uh, yeah, holy shit, man. Adventures with Old Aunt Louise, that was, that was heavy. Okay, see you guys. So I got an email, an alarming email from Herman Lee. Uh, regarding Jason Becker. Now, Jason Becker isn't doing too well, and they've reached out to Herman Lee to make a couple of fundraisers for Jason. And uh, to explain all of it, here's Herman Lee. What's up, Herman? Hey, Ola, thank What's... you for having me. I oh, finally did... made it onto your channel. Yes, I know. At some point, we have to make a coffee with Ola, but I want to do it in person with you. Uh, and when everything is over, the pandemic and all is over, we'll get, we'll get it happening, okay? Mm -hmm. So what's up? Yes. What, what, what are you doing and how are you helping uh, Jason Becker right now? So first, um, Jason and his friends approached me mm -hmm. to just sign, you know, a few, play a few guitars of his mm -hmm. and sign a few guitars. Unfortunately, Jason has to sell three of his most precious guitars, um, Okay. You know, to raise money to basically keep him alive for his medical bills, for his medical needs. Right. One of them is this one here, the numbered guitar. Wow. The first one ever prototype that was actually made by PV, funny enough. Yes. Um, and this was the one that was played by Eddie Van Halen when he visited Jason. That's a... Uh, this is one of them. That's a yeah, legendary guitar sad. right there. So, you know, I said, sure, come and, you know, I'll play the guitars, do a little video, whatever you want. But then I thought, you know what, because we want to raise the value of these guitars. They want to get the hands of like some of the best guitar players, most famous guitar players to play these guitars. Mm. 
And I said, look, we can do that, but how about we do this? I have done Twitch, and I've done a lot of um, fundraiser on Twitch, right, for video, doing video games with gamers. And I thought, you know what? Why don't I do this? We're going to run a fundraiser on Twitch. I'm going to invite some of the best players to come and jam and get people to donate. When they approached me last week, I said, look, I'll just set my donation. All the donations on my channel go straight to Jason Becker until these guitars are sold. So um, we already raised $8,000. Wow. From just me playing Dragon Force songs very badly. Um, so once you get some <laughs> real players to come and jam on these guitars with me right. in studio and remote jam, um, I think we can really raise a lot of money and get the guitar community to help um, in this. This Our is a collector's item, if anything. Absolutely. I mean, this is this this is the this has been in a number of um, guitar magazine. It was in the cover of the magazine. There's videos of Eddie Van Halen playing this one years ago, and it actually plays really well. Nice. Um, it's a special guitar, and you can see there's, um, there's Jason's thumbprint here. Oh. The first prototype numbered guitar. That's so cool. Yeah. Holy shit. Awesome. But the other two. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. That's Herman Lee. You know, Dragon Force. He's not wearing socks. You're not wearing socks. I love that. <laughs> I know. People say, why do you not wear shoes at home? I said, do you wear shoes at home? No. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> it gets dirty. Um, <laughs> I'll send you a couple of socks. I have a couple of broken ones. <laughs> this oh, one, yes. this, this is on the cover of the Perpetual Burn album. Oh, this shit. is the one that Jason used in the photos. Wow. I, so I spoke to Marty Friedman yesterday. We had a little sound check, right? Okay. And he said this was the best one of all the Hurricane guitars they had. Wow. And, and look at the back of the neck. This is how many nooks has been played here? Oh, yeah. To, yeah. It, it's like, oh, there's about a million, billion arpeggios and sweet picking done here. Right. This is the one on the front cover of um, Cacophony Speed Metal Symphony. Right. This is the guitar you used to record the whole Perpetual Burn album. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. So um, there are barely any frets left. <laughs> it's, like, it's really difficult to play. Like, the frets are almost flat. Wow. Uh, you shred the shit out of this guitar. Yeah. And at the same time, we're going to have um, two, two Kizo guitars donated by Kizo. Awesome. That I'm getting all the artists to sign um, to auction off awesome. the, his signature models. Yeah. Awesome. Perfect. Dude, Herman, thank you so much. I'll definitely uh, try my best to spread the word about this. If you're a collector, I mean, this is the time. This is the time. This is the only chance you have. I mean, these are the guitars. There's not a better opportunity than right now. What do uh, people need to do? to be a part of this and a part of the fundraiser, what do people need to do? So they're going to go on sale in April, right? Okay. But if you have deep pockets, you can make a pre-market bid onto okay. these guitars. Okay. Get in touch with me. So it's going to start next month in March on Twitch. Okay. Um, you can donate anytime. There's links on my channel um, with the information. Of course, you can donate. You just go to jasonbecker.com. There's information. Yep. We're going to put the lineup together, but right now, confirm of people taking part, includes Steve Vai, of course, He's, been, he's donating guitar himself. He's really helping us out nice. on this. And I've got more people to confirm, um, but the people actually jamming right now right. is pretty insane. So I've got to jam with every one of these players on different days, right? We're going to have Marty Friedman, nice. Kiko Luero, Tosin Abassi, Michael Angelo Badio, Alex Skolnick, Jared Dines, Bumblefoot, Nita Strauss, Orianti, Tim Henson, Stevie T, Tyler Larson, uh, music is win. Yeah. Gus G, Jason Richardson, Thomas McRocklin, Rusty Cooley, and I'm getting more confirmation coming up on that. So that's um, awesome. We've got a lot of people helping out. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to do my best to spread the word about this. Go check out Herman's Twitch. I'll put a link in the description of this video so you can go there. You can update yourself on when all this is happening. You can go place a bid right now, basically. Yeah. Thank you so much, Herman. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Sunday with Ola Riff Challenge, everyone. So every Sunday, I uh, force myself, I would say, or force, it's, 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 it's a strong word to force myself, but I, I challenge myself to write something new for every uh, Sunday with Ola uh, introduction, uh, a new song or like a riff segment. And uh, with that, I'm also uh, uploading the drums from that intro so you guys can make your own version with those drums. And that's what I call this Sunday with Ola Rift Challenge. And we're going to check out a couple of the contenders that participated in last week's Sunday with Ola Rift Challenge. And we're going to start with Mark Covers. Here we go. Farts.
That's cool. He has an LTD. Is that a... I can't see. It's so black. It's one of those... Uh, uh, I don't know what they're called. Or is it an Eclipse? I can't see. It's too dark, man. But Riff is tanky as f Ooh, nice harmony, man. He has Nano Leafs in the back. Yeah, baby. That was great. There it is. That's the face. Oh. <laughs> that was great. Thank you so much. That was Mark Covers. Last week's drums were a little hard, maybe, for a lot of people to grasp because they were a little bit weird. They were switching between triplets and... But you guys got it. I like it. Next up is Kobe Red. Code Red, sorry. With a Keith Merrill guitar. Shit, man. This guy found it, though. Found the beat. Ooh. He resembles a little bit like Devin Townsend in his face right there when he watched uh, the camera. I'm just saying. Like a tattooed Devin Townsend. Yeah, man. That's it. Code Red. Thank you. Much appreciate. That was great. Next up is Steve Ricardo. Now, Steve. He's doing these a little bit more uh, special, I would say. He, he participates in the challenges, every challenge he's in. What he does is that he's basically telling a story through the Sunday with all the riff challenges. And while he's doing the song, obviously. So right now, you know, he's filmed a fair bit of... Uh, I don't know what it is, but he calls it a saga. And then he has a song accompanying the video. You can do that, that's cool. The playing there doesn't really resemble what happens in the song, but still cool. He's out there with his EVH strat. This guy is probably judging him. Okay. Hold it right there, okay. All right, a new contender enters. Again, okay. Oh, there's no guitar playing here, man. Just saying. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, baby. Stop. Hammer time. <laughs> to be continued. There you go. That's Steve Ricardo. If you want to follow his story, go check out his song. I will link all these guys in the description of this video. Okay, you can go check them out yourself. Thank you so much, guys. That was awesome. You know, the struggle for me when I'm picking Sunday with all the Rift challenges, uh, the contenders every week, is that I try to find new people to feature in the Sunday with Ola. But sometimes, I mean, a lot of you guys just continue on and do amazing shit, I must say. And uh, unfortunately, you know, I think the new guys kind of, they, they will come before that. But I will probably come to a point where, you know, I will repost some of you guys. And I just have to repost this guy. It's my favorite guy in the washing machine room. And he brought his kids. Look at this, how adorable. I have to I probably have to censor these guys. If this is not the epitome of metal right here, I don't know what is, man. Kids are on the washing machine, rocking out. Dad's fucking killing it right here in this little studio. Look at that. Kids are even fucking with him, you know? And he's like, not today, man, not today. I'm ripping out. And also the submission is fucking great as well. Oh, this guy, the kid is trying to find a beat, but he can't find it. <laughs> that was great. So that was Paul Smith, everyone. I just wanted to show that. I, I think it's just, that's just what it's all about, man. It's like, you just have to write and play metal whenever possible. That is Sunday with Ola Rift Challenge. Thank you. Ola tasting shit. What's up, everyone? And welcome to Ola and Louise tasting shit. What's up? <laughs> You're strategically wearing a Ola necklace today. Yep. Uh, that comes with the new album. <laughs> yes, yes, that's how you sell things. Uh, like subliminal messages in not videos. Not when you talk about it. It's not that subliminal. It's <laughs> really <laughs> huge. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's I, nice. I'm using mine as a, as a keychain, actually. Let me check. I ha actually have mine as a, as a keychain, like this. That works really good. That's nice. Uh, I also have this, uh, this sad little Darth Vader. <laughs> that's lost his legs 
Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's time to change them out, but yeah. It's not only a necklace, it also works really well as a key. Great. So me and Luis got a package all the way from Canada. And I think this is the first from Canada, actually. Have you been to Canada? Uh, I have been to Canada, yes. <laughs> you have to think about it. <laughs> yes, exactly. No, I, I haven't played in Canada, but I went to Toronto to meet uh, Mike Fortin. Yeah. Uh, when we designed uh, the... Uh, he lives there? He lives in Toronto, yes, in Whitby. Yeah. That's the only time I've been to Canada. Lovely place, by the way. I've heard so much great things about I've heard Canada. that there's, it's like a lot of the people there are very similar to Swedes. That's what I heard too, and that very... Um, like non-criminal place to be. You heard it here. <laughs> non-criminal place to be. Or Canada. Not? I don't great. know. Like they're not locking the doors and stuff like that. I That's think, what I, I think heard. they are. I think they're still locking the doors, though. Uh, I, I guess mean, I would too. It was not like it was back in our day when we just kept our doors open. It was stupid. Anyways, damn it! It's already been uh, five minutes. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. No. Okay. It says, hello from Canada, England family. My wife and I are fans of your show and enjoy watching Swole Live every weekend, especially the Ola Tasting Shit segment. It had us inspired to send you a care packet from Canada. So I chose some favorite snack foods for you to family to try. I hope you like them. Potato chips, lace. I mean, we tried lace, pickle. I haven't tried that one, but... Don't you remember we had pickle yeah, chips? Yeah, I do. They're usually very uh, sour. Not very nice. <laughs> uh, also, he sent some maple syrup. And when that, I was a kid, I loved maple syrup. Yes. You know, when I'm in the US, I like maple syrup on American pancakes. Yeah. Not so much on Swedish pancakes. But uh, it's going to be exciting. I'm just yeah. going to take a spoon. I don't have any pancakes or waffles <laughs> right now. I'm just going to take a spoon of that. And they also sent us this mouse mat showing the different uh, regions of Canada. They have funny names. They do have funny names. <laughs> and do you know how to pronounce that one? Newfoundland? Yeah, Newfoundland. Newfoundland, okay, okay. Yeah, that's what I heard. I, I want to live in Happy Valley, Goose Bay. That's nice. The We're gonna move there. Newfoundland is... A dog. Yeah, the big back one. Yes. But that's one we said, Newfoundland. Oh, Newfoundland, okay, gotcha. <laughs> in Swedish. And we also got this little <laughs> Canadian-Swedish pin, isn't that nice yeah. right there? We're friends, best Wait. friends forever, Canada, Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> and they also sent us a picture, which is incredibly sweet. That's very cute. Brad, Anne-Marie, Gowen, and our dog, Flynn. That's amazing. Uh, that that, so that just cute. makes me so happy to see that. It's just so so wholesome. First thing, we got a Tim Hortons coffee. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. Is Tim Hortons like a... a celebrity or something? <laughs> no, I think it, it, it might be a chain or a, like a restaurant chain. Okay. I, or, okay. I don't know. It's Tim Hortons coffee. I'm just going to... It's uh, something new. It's something new, exactly. Yeah. So I'm going to start with the coffee then. That's good. It's a little bit more bitter than uh, the, the regular ground coffee that I have. Maybe because they eat pickles to it. So pickles. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. You're onto something. I like that. <laughs> uh, yep. Really good. Thank you. Tim Hortons coffee. Sh should I do the maple syrup? Sh it's too bad we don't have any pancake pancakes. Should I, uh, I, I just should, should just drink it out of the... Out oh, of the... that would be so... Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Canada category. Ambre got rich. Grade A. Amber, rich taste, maple syrup. That's that's a lot of grades. <laughs> that is actually really good. Yeah. It's better than I imagined. It's way better than oh, the syrup I've had before. The smell is so nice. It's sweet. <laughs> it's very sweet. <laughs> very sweet. But, but it's very tasty. That's very really tasty. Nice. Probably one of the more tastier uh, syrups I've had, actually. Yeah. It's this like oaky, but sweet. Completely really nice. different from w what we have. So. That was really fun. That, 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 that makes that me happy. That was a nice one, thank I'm you. I'm gonna bring this home. Uh, we're gonna introduce this to our kids. Let's just get it out of the way. Dill pickle. One for Louise, one oh, for Ola. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> Th these are like dill chips that we have, but with pickled They're not, uh, um The taste isn't that strong. No. This is actually what I would say. Oh, this is okay. I would probably take more. Mm. We've been talking a lot about Canada today, but that has to be uh, enough for today. Yeah. Uh, we're going to continue on this journey into Canada next week. But thank you so much. That was Ola tasting shit and Louise tasting shit. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to check how my Spotify playlist is doing. So I made a Spotify playlist where people can recommend me good shit. And last week it was 1500 songs. 
Today it's nearly 3,000 songs added. Uh, it's 238 hours worth of music for me to listen to. Thank you so much. I'm not gonna listen to all of that, but <laughs> we're gonna check out a couple today. I'm just gonna random scroll like this. I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna look away. Look at all this. This it's just so much, man. So I'm gonna uh, scroll, and then I'm just gonna randomly pick something here. What about this? Left to suffer. Okay, anger. Who put attack attack in here? Hello. Whoa. Okay, so it's like death score, I guess. He does sound angry, so it goes well with the song name, I must say. I know that this type of music is what kids listen to these days, man. This is great. Next random one. Then scroll, scroll, then click. Pink Floyd. God damn it, man. I, <laughs> I've listened to this a lot, but that's cool, man. That's Moby Dick right there. Uh, this is a good album, I must say. I'm gonna stop there because... I listened to Pink Floyd, so that's cool. Thank you for your recommendation. Let's do another one, okay? I'm gonna look at this camera, and then I'm gonna scroll. Did it click? Oh, no, okay. What the hell happened? Okay. Now I'm gonna click. No, some... Oh, shit, yeah, man. Some good old Swedish death metal. No, some is one of those... Really underrated Swedish death metal bands. I mean, there's just so many really, really kick-ass Swedish death metal bands. Uh, if, if you want to go on a journey and just discover Swedish death metal bands, you're in for a treat. There's a lot of really good stuff out there, and Nassim is definitely something I would recommend. So that's cool. That was uh, put in here by Time Monk. Thank you so much, Time Monk. You can still add songs to this list. I'll put a link to the Spotify list in the description of this video. You can add stuff, okay? But that's cool. There you go. Recommend me good shit, okay. That's it, everyone. That was Sunday with Ola number 42 for you. I hope you had a good time. Uh, I'd like to reach out and say thank you to all my, uh, all of you guys, obviously, but also to my beautiful, beautiful members. You guys are amazing. Thank you. And uh, I hope you guys have an excellent Sunday. Hopefully, you know, you spend some time with your family or, uh, you know, you go uh, have fun. Do something. Do something cool today. Right. See you. Bye. Hi.